Now it's time to actually configure how your, your project will look because just looking at this, I mean, it's al already a lot of things going on. I have a lot of tasks, but what I really wanna do is just tailor the stuff that's really important to me. So uh, for that, I will use views and views are used as a configuration of your project. So I would first configure what I wanna see because then later I will be much, much, much more easier to find what I'm actually looking for. So let me first start with, with, with layouts. A layout is basically how your tasks will be presented. So you can use a Kanban-like chart if you use boards, you can use the calendar view, you can use the list view, the, the timeline view. That's really um, something that, that should be decided by yourself. But let's say that at this point I'm using the board view. You can also add fields and the fields um, will then be uh, shown to you on each card. So perhaps let me add here priority. So now at a glance, I can see what is the priority of each task here. Then uh, you can also group tasks by different parameters. So here I'm grouping them by task list, but obviously since I'm using workflows, I can group them by status. So now I can see my tasks uh, in this Kanban view grouped by which status they are in right now. One thing that you should also do is to filter. So then obviously I want to filter it by assignee. Let's say I wanna see tasks assigned to this person. So now I'm looking at tasks only assigned to this person. Once you are done with your configuration, you would hit here on save and then you can save it as a view. Um, let's call it perhaps Bessie tasks. And then here I can select if this view will be public or private. So if this view is uh, visible to everyone, that means that each person that can view this project, uh, they will see this exact configuration. Uh, if I leave it private, then I will be the only person who can see it. So let me create this view. And now this view is here in my views dropdown. So here I see a list of views that I've created uh, so far. I can also see if they are uh, private or if they are public. And also I can click here and pin the favorite view right here. So it's always stays right there. Um, one thing to remember is that productive will always remember your last selection. So if this was my previous selection, then if I refresh this, it will come back right to this view. 